Hello everyone, I'm Seth with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2014 Audi Q7 3.0T Premium Quattro. It has 107,896 miles on it. It's in good condition, however the front end does have just a few flaws. Both headlights are a little bit hazy and you will find some rock chips along the bottom end. I will say for being seven years old with almost 110,000 miles on it. It is in really good shape. The grill looks really good. And the majority of the bumper and pretty much all of the hood look really, really good. Completely unscathed. <clears throat> the hood is in fantastic shape. Moving over to the driver's side front fender. You've got no marks, no issues there. Front driver's side wheel. You have just a little bit of scuffing on one of the spokes, but otherwise in great condition. Driver's side mirror, absolutely no marks whatsoever, and that is incredibly impressive for a vehicle with 107,000 miles on it. That's one of the uh, high traffic areas for rock chips. Rear driver's side door. Again, we've got no marks there either. Driver's side rear quarter panel. Very, very tiny flaw in the paint. Could probably be buffed out. No issues there. Rear driver's side wheel. No issue there. Small mark on one of the spokes, but that's very superficial. Moving along to the back of the vehicle. The lower portion of the back bumper just has a few small defects. Small chip there. Scratch there, pretty insignificant. A scratch that kind of runs along the, uh, the bottom edge so it goes down here. <clears throat> Another one parallel to it here. We've got a touched up spot there. <clears throat> and a few small marks up at the top here. But those are very small and insignificant. They're not easy to see. They blend in very well. Face of the hatch. It's in excellent condition. There's no issues there. Passenger side, rear quarter panel. No issues, looks great. Passenger rear wheel. Great shape. Rear passenger door. No issues there. Uh, we do actually have some scratching along the side here. <coughs> kind of runs along here. And then we have some more scratching over here. <coughs> Moving along to the front passenger door. No defects there. Passenger mirror, again, perfect shape, no issues at all. Front passenger fender, there are no marks on that. And the front passenger wheel, unfortunately, does have a considerable amount of rash on there all the way around. I will go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we believe in complete transparency in the condition of our inventory, and we disclose every defect a vehicle has to give our out-of-state buyers a peace of mind and confidence they need to purchase the vehicle sight unseen if they choose to do so. Just walking around the vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you would notice on a day-to-day -day basis if you were to own the vehicle you wouldn't notice every little defect it has, but doing this, you can see what stands out and what doesn't. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of what you would be seeing if you were to own the vehicle. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. So we've got a white and gray interior with some nice wood grain inserts. 
express down front driver and passenger windows, all four power windows, heated power folding mirrors, blind spot assist, memory seats as well, and power adjustable seats. They are heated. They're in fantastic shape. Fires right up, no issues there. Does have navigation. Center console's in great shape, no issues. Dash looks great, not sun faded or worn. Auto dimming mirror with the compass. Interior upholstery looks great. Here we can see on the gauge cluster, it has 107,896 miles. Push button start. All the markings on the buttons are intact and in great condition really except for the start engine button and that just has very minimal wear on it. All the other buttons look great. Dual zone automatic climate control. It's four zone really because it has separate climate control for the back seats which I'll show you in a minute. So here in the back, door panels, great condition, manual sunshades as well. <clears throat> Seats are in excellent shape. And the rear climate control system with two 12 volt inputs, super nice to have. All weather floor mats. And these actually fold down and you can have third row seating or a really large cargo area. It does have an all weather cargo mat back there, kind of set up to have a larger cargo area with no third row. <clears throat> but if you do need the third row, it can be extended and utilized. So here we have a supercharged three liter V6 engine. It makes a really good amount of power. The car feels great. It doesn't struggle under its own weight. With it being a bigger SUV, it still gets up to highway speeds and merges with traffic just fine. It doesn't feel difficult to maneuver. And because it is a V6, it still gets uh, decent fuel economy. Not like some of the uh, more modern SUVs that have V8s and really suffer in fuel economy. This one's not that bad. This is really just an all around great vehicle. Super comfortable, super practical. Tons of storage space, very reliable. It's a, a really good car for the money. So that is our 2014 Audi Q7 3.0T Premium Quattro. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this vehicle on our sales listing on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.